welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Sarah Zay collaboration with White Fox Boutique. I have pretty much her entire activewear collection with me here. Um, I have the very first collection and the olive and then the new 101 Daydreamers. So I'm going to be going through pretty much everything. There's only a couple pieces that I'm missing, but I pretty much have every version, just not every colorway, if that makes sense. I'm pretty sure they're going to be restocking these in early 2019, so if you want to get any of these, um, that's when you can get them. So for my sizing, I got everything in a size small. Everything in this collection is a size small, except for the last pieces I'll show you, but I'll explain that later. And I wear a size small in pretty much everything, like all Gymshark I wear a size small, Athlete I wear a size small. So I stuck with a size small. And there's definitely a little bit of sizing stuff, but I'll be talking about that with each piece. So yeah, I'll have my measurements below just for reference, and I am 5'5". Five five. And I also just want to mention that I've worked out in all of these pieces, so I have done true workout tests so I can tell you guys how they hold up, and if they're annoying and fall down, or if they stay up and they're great. Um, so I will let you guys know on all of the pieces. And yeah, so if you're planning on working out in these, I hope that that helps you out because I've done workout tests in all of them. So whenever you get your package, it's going to come in this cute little white fox bag. It's like a drawstring bag, um, and it has everything in there. With the new 101 Daydreamers, you'll get a cute little booklet like this, and it has all of the information um, about like her designing this and all that cute stuff. So this is really cool. So the first piece is actually my favorite piece out of all of the collections. It's Probably my favorite pair of leggings ever. I love them and it's funny because I actually wasn't even going to get these ones But I ended up doing it at the last minute and I'm so glad I did because they are my favorite and they're called the fearless leggings I have all the tags right here still so I have all the correct names for you guys and on the tag it has cute little writing from her it says thank you so much for supporting my collection I hope you enjoy wearing it as much as I enjoyed designing it now you really do fashion love Sezzy So that's so cute and that's on all the tags and the tags are like this really cool like matte material I don't know if you care about that, but like, I think it's cool. So the first pair of leggings are the Fearless Leggings and they say SDXWFA on the waistband and it has this really thick, stretchy waistband. And the waistband's really comfortable as well. It doesn't dig in. And then on the back of the leggings, it has butt paneling. So it basically goes around in this little shape here. And a pair of her leggings from the very first collection has similar butt paneling, but it's completely different. And that's actually why I almost didn't get these ones because I don't like the butt paneling on the other leggings. And I thought the new ones were going to be like that, so I was really nervous about getting these. But I was very surprised whenever they came because it's actually still just one layer of leggings and it's just a seam. On her first collection, there are like three layers on like the butt and then I'll explain it later. It's kind of weird. But this one is not like that and I'm very happy about it because these ones are so perfect and just love it. Okay. So on the side here, it has like a mesh detailing down the side. And then on the bottom, it has a white like ankle cuff part. Don't really know what that's called. On like all of the 101 Daydreamer set, it has this kind of silicone um, detailing here. And it's really cool. It makes them look like they're like super expensive. And that's just very cool. And this pair also has silicone stripes above your right knee. And it just makes them look really cool. Um, and I just love these. So like I said, I got a size small in these and I feel like I could have sized down to an extra small just because they're so stretchy and they do have the tendency to fall down a little bit when I'm working out. But yeah, overall, these are very comfortable to work out in. If you're contemplating between sizes, I do recommend a size down. I don't recommend that for all of her pieces, definitely. But in all of the 101 Daydreamers pieces, I think I could have sized down to an extra small, but I got a small and it's all fine. So if you're contemplating between sizing, if you were normally like a small medium, I would say to get a small. And if you're normally like an extra small to a small, I would say either get a small or an extra small, just depending on whatever you personally think. But like I said, my measurements will be down in the description. So if you need that, um, you can just refer to that and go from there. But yeah, these are overall like my favorite leggings. I think they're so cute with some white shoes. And yeah, so these are the Fearless leggings. So the next piece I'm going to be showing you is the Sporty Spice bra, and I absolutely love this bra. I think it's so cute. It looks like this. Um, it has that silicone detailing all around the band right here, and also it says the SDXWFA on the straps, and it's also in that silicone material. So it just looks so like bougie, and it just, I don't know, I just think it's so cute. It has these like peach colored panels here, and then it has a little white pipeline. Pipeline? Is that what you would call that? I don't know, but it has this little like white line right there, and then this is what the back looks like. It has... The back just has like a cross design and it's pretty simple and versatile and I think it goes with pretty much all of the bottoms in this whole collection so if you're contemplating on which bra to get I would definitely just go with this one just because it I don't know it just goes with everything and I just think it's so cute and it does have padding in it and they're removable and what surprised me when I put this on is I was like a little confused at first but it has push-up padding in it which I did not expect at all and I don't think any of her other bras have this push-up padding but I kind of like it um, whenever I'm working out I do take the pads out 
just because I don't really need a whole lot of support. But if I'm just wearing it around, then, then I'll either just take them out or leave them in. It doesn't really matter for me. As for support goes, I think it's pretty supportive. I don't have a lot. So I'm really sorry. I'm not the best, like, gauge for how supportive sports bras are, if you're wondering that. But to me, what I do have, I think it's pretty supportive. And you feel very locked in, so if you're concerned about that, I wouldn't worry about it. Especially if you get, like, the correct size. So I got a size small in this. Again, I feel like I could have sized down to an extra small, just because the straps tend to get a little bit long on me and they're not adjustable. But it really doesn't bother me at all. I still think that it fits great. Um, but if I was to get it again, I probably would have sized down to an extra small. So if you're wondering how this bra looks with the other pieces, I did show them with the other bottoms from the 101 Day Dreamers collection. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this bra and I think it's so cute and I love it. So moving on to the next leggings, these are the sweet and sassy leggings, and these are the ones that I was just like, I have to get these. And it's weird because I actually turned out to like the fearless leggings that I wasn't even going to get better, but nonetheless, I still really love these. I think they're so cute. So these ones are a little bit different than the other ones because these ones don't have that thick waistband. They just have a drawstring, and this collection, the aglets on the drawstrings are like this thick, like matte, heavy kind of metal, I don't know what that is, but it, it feels very bougie and it has like these thick drawstrings so it feels very good quality. And then on the back of these leggings it says the SDXWFA in the silicone material. So these are just black all the way down and then once you get down here that's where the party starts. It has the Dalmatian print and then it says listen to your body and this is all in the silicone material and then on the other legs it's just plain but I think that's a really cute detail and that's like her little mantra so it's very fitting that she put them on the leggings as for the white material I don't have the Dalmatian print leggings in either the black or white but I would assume that it's the same material as it is on here and it's literally like not see-through at all but if I had to guess I would say that the white leggings of this print are squat proof if you're wondering that I would guess they are because it's very like this thick and stretchy material but you cannot see through it and you can only see like a little bit of color, so I don't know. But yeah, if you're thinking about getting those, just know that the material is like the softest thing ever. The material on the entire 101 Day Dreamers collection is crazy. I don't know what it's made out of. Like, let me see what it says. 96% polyamide, 24% elastane. I don't know what polyamide is. I've never seen that in leggings. But whatever this is, it's glorious. I can't even explain it. They're just like so soft and like great. Got a size small on these ones as well. Definitely should have sized down to an extra small. Just because... These ones come up very, very high on me. They come up like at least an inch or two above my belly button. So they're very high up. And then on top of that, um, whenever I'm working out, they tend to like fall down a little bit. So I get a little bit of like a drop crotch kind of action. So I have to keep pulling them up. The drawstring is nice because I can tie them tighter. Um, but it, they do just kind of fall down on like my thigh area. And then it kind of, you know, give me a little bit of a drop crotch that I kind of keep kind of pulling up. But I'm pretty sure that that would have been solved if I had just gotten a smaller size. Oh! And something else that I forgot to mention is these are squat proof and so are the fearless leggings. To the best of my extent and um, point of view that I can see, I think they're squat proof. And like I said, I've worked out in all of them and no worries there. So moving on to the next piece of this collection, I'm actually wearing them right now. They are the Tomboy Doll track pants and you guys, they're like, I want to say like typical kind of like sweatpants material, but like they're so thick. I got them in a size small and I actually almost sized up to a medium because I was like I want them oversized and normally I have to size up in pants when I want them oversized but I stuck with a small and I actually should have gotten an extra small because they're quite oversized as you can see but nonetheless I still love them and I wore them out today and I actually just kind of cuffed under this little ankle band part here just to make them like a little bit shorter because they can get kind of baggy and I wear them quite high-waisted too so if you're wondering if you want to like size up in these pants make them like oversized don't <laughs> I would even size down which is like the craziest thing to me because I almost got a medium but I'm very glad that I didn't and I just wore them with this like black crop shirt um, and I think that looked pretty good in my opinion um, and I also showed them just wearing the sporty spice sports bra and they also have the same waistband that's on the fearless leggings but these ones are like a little bit big on me unlike the fearless leggings the fearless leggings actually fit me quite well in the waist but this waistband is just like a little bit larger so these are already very oversized and yeah, I really love these pants I think they're very cute and versatile and they're just very comfortable and they're sweatpants But they don't look lazy if you know what I mean if you want to be like super comfortable But you also want to look kind of put together. I think these are great and yeah, I love them I can't say enough good things about them. They are great 
So the next piece from this collection is actually a gift for my sister. It is the All I Do Is Brunch sweatshirt and I'm trying not to unfold it. She was very nice and let me actually try it on for the try on haul. But yeah, I'm trying to keep it like as nice as possible. So it has this like white upper and then it has a Dalmatian print and then it has the peach um, band going there and then the rest is black. I'm just gonna put that down so I don't ruin it. So we got this in a size large for her and it actually runs kind of small in my opinion. If I was to get it for me personally, I would probably just get a medium, like go one size up just because I like things very oversized like that. But if you want like a tighter fit, then I would just go with your normal size. But I don't think the large on me looks ridiculous because I'm always wearing kind of oversized stuff like that anyway. But yeah, I think this is so cute. It's very thick. Um, so it's, it's a good sweatshirt if you want to wear it. If it's not like freezing out, so it's going to keep you warm enough. But it is just a sweatshirt, so it's not like, you know, wearing a winter coat, if you know what I mean. Does that make any sense? I think the design of this is so cute and I also put it on with the fearless leggings. This just goes so well with all the pants from this collection. So I really love this sweatshirt and I highly recommend that you get it if you like it because you just you just can't go wrong with it. Especially if you have the leggings from this collection, you just just so cute. Okay. Love it. All right, so now I'm moving on to her very first collection and I have the white jasmine leggings here. And they are this like kind of like very dark midnight blue. And then it has these white stripes on the ankle cuffs and then this white band as the waistband. And these ones also have the drawstring waistband, but um, the drawstrings are different. So these ones are a lot thinner and um, they don't have that cool like matte metal um, kind of aglet here. These are just like the typical kind of shoelace aglets, but honestly, who cares? It's really cool if you have those ones because it's just like so bougie, but like these ones are still perfectly fine. And this set is the first thing that I ever got from the White Fox collaboration. I got these in a size small again, but yeah, they're very stretchy, very comfortable. The drawstring waistband is very helpful just because um, it can make the sizing more versatile, but I need them to be tighter so I can just tighten them up. Um, squat proofness. She mentioned whenever she came out with these how they are printed on a white material. If you look on the inside, they are all white. And she said that that had to do with the, the custom fabric and everything. So whenever you squat, you can see white, but you can't see through them. I have the olive ones here, and these ones don't do that at all. Those ones are like completely squat proof, and you can't see like black through them. But these ones, you can see white. So just keep that in mind if that's something that you might not be a big fan of. And then I have the white jasmine bra here. And this is like my favorite sports bra pretty much ever. I have the olive collection, which I'll show you in a second. This bra is just so comfortable. It's size small. Again, everything's a size small except for the very last thing I'm going to show you. And the padding in this bra is very thick. So I think Sarah was talking about how she wanted like a little bit more lift. And these definitely make you look like you have a little something um, if you catch my drift there. But yeah, this is so comfortable. It's very soft. It's not too tight around like your ribs either. So it's like really comfortable. It doesn't feel like restrictive um, like some sports bras can. So I really like that. And the back has this cool like cross pattern going on and I just think it's very cute and that's what like the inner tag looks like it has a tag right here and whenever you're wearing it if you put like the tag going this way you can see it but if you tuck it like going the opposite way like into the bra then you can't see it but yeah I really love this so comfortable and just I just think it's great So the next set I'm going to show you is the jasmine set in the olive color and I got them in the olive and the black just because I have the white jasmine with the white waistband so I wanted to change it up and just get the black ones. These are pretty much the exact same as the midnight blue color um, but these ones are olive. I think that I like the olive ones better. The sports bra is the same and like I said my favorite sports bra so now that I have two colorways um, I think it's great. The entire like design of the sports bra is just like perfect to me and it's like the material is so soft and it's so comfortable. Cannot say enough great things about the sports bra and the leggings are just so soft and comfortable and you can just like do whatever you want in them and they just feel great. So, so the last few things I'm going to show you are the Sezi Lux leggings. These are the ones with like the honeycomb design and then the crops with the with like the crop top and then the separate layer of bra under here. So let me give you the little backstory on this one. These Sezi Lux leggings, my sister actually got these for her and she got them in a size medium. And whenever they came, they were too small for her. So I decided to try them on and they are like pretty much borderline too small for me. They come up very high and like the waistband itself um, is too big. But like the legs are very tight, which is really strange considering in the new 101 Daydreamer set, I need an extra small, and the mediums of these leggings are too small. So like the sizing there is kind of weird. So I can wear them, but these are not my personal favorite, just because these ones have the butt paneling as well. But if you put them on, 
like you'll know what I mean so like it's like one layer of um, legging here and then it has this like line on the side and that's like two layers of leggings so it's like double layer and then on the butt it goes to like triple layer of leggings so there's like three whole layers of leggings in there so on me personally I think these ones feel kind of awkward on me I don't know it might just be like the shape of my legs pretty much but I don't think that they are nearly as comfortable as any of her other leggings but I, th I still think they're cute you know but they're personally just not my favorite um, I haven't actually worked out in these ones either just as an FYI um, I'm not really sure how these ones hold up but whenever I was just walking around with them on, they were like falling down on me because they're a size too big, but the legs are like oddly tight and like the butt doesn't quite stay upright if you get what I'm saying. But I know many people that have these and they love them. So, you know, but I still think they're very cute. They have this like honeycomb um, detailing down here and then it has like a layer of black, then white, and then this pink color. So like that's like the ankle detailing. And these ones go straight across and then the new 101 day dreamers are like at an angle but yeah those are the leggings um like i said not my personal favorite but i know many people that have these and love them i would definitely size up if you want to get these ones just so you know so along with those leggings as her like sets they go with the sports bra that have the crop and then the bra um, these are called the Sezi Lux Sports Bras. Again, my sister got this one for her. So this is a size large and I put it on and it looks large on me, obviously, because I wear a s extra small to a small normally in bras. But even though it looks a little bit large, it doesn't look like super large. So this one definitely runs small. So whenever I got the Olive Collection, I wanted to get this bra for myself. And even though I had tried on this one in a large and knew that it like pretty much fit me, it was just like a little bit too big. I decided to still just get this one in a small just because every other bra that I have of hers is in a size small and like even this one is a size small and it fits me like absolutely perfectly. I can barely get this one on. <laughs> so it's very 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 tight on me on like this part and then um, whenever it's on the little piece of like side boob here spilling out if you if you see. As of right now it's just too small for me to comfortably wear. Um, but I still think it's very cute. It's a cute little like athleisure piece So like I said, I wear like an extra small to a small and like all of her other bras And then this one I would get a medium in if you're wanting to get the Sezi Lux sports bra The entire Sezi Lux set like I said definitely size up um, So I really love this sports bra I just wish that the sizing was like a little bit more consistent with her other sports bras But overall I still think that this set is cute if you get like the perfect sizing for you So I think that is everything that I have here today I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it helped you out if you have any questions on anything, you can always DM me on Instagram or comment below and I will get back to you. And like I said, you guys can get the 101 Daydreamers collection in early 2019. And I highly recommend that you do because it's definitely my favorite collection so far that she's come out with. And I think that everything is just so cute and the quality is amazing. And all of her pieces are definitely some of my favorite athletic wear to wear to work out. And I just want to say that I think she did a fantastic job on everything. All the designs are so well thought through and even down to like the last detail. You could just tell that she was very like thoughtful with everything. And I think that everyone that gets these pieces are going to be very happy with them. And overall, I really love all of these pieces. Um, I wear them all the time. They're so comfortable. And they're definitely one of my favorite brands to work out in. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up because that will really help me out. And subscribe to my channel to see more upcoming videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace and love.